Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at our market leading ETFs via our proprietary scans for the coming session. This is going to be for Monday, April 21st, 2014. Today's expiration Thursday, and uh, we're not getting any signals here off of the uh, majors. And in fact, uh, volume is going to be down on on uh, most of them. So uh, they did a lot of the unwinding and whatnot uh, a couple of days ago, and so now they're really just kind of setting up and putting out prints. Everything's within reason. Uh, the the uh, IWM mid caps are uh, the ones that are really coming on the strongest. They're about a little less than one percent above the day's open, uh, but again, it's on it's on fairly light volume. As far as the domestic sectors, not a lot of signals. We are seeing some volume bumps uh, that's going to be associated with the uh, expiration. The KRE, which represents the regional banks, uh, upside CPS there, and that one's trading uh, one and a half times typical volume. Got uh, RPS signals in the XLE and the OIH. We also noted, detected a couple of those in some of the uh, the major energy stocks. So that could be a theme, a theme for early next week. Pretty good volume in the XLU, the IYR, and also the XRT. Moving on to the commodities, uh, the UNG natural gas uh, figures, natural gas figures were out today because of the uh, holiday, even though it's the last trading day of the, of the week. Real strong move there, up a little less than 5%. Uh, no signal associated with that. We do have an upside CPS in the uh, in the USO and uh, also the DBC bonds. Uh, fairly weak today. Um, really started to take a little bit off there after uh, uh, printing new highs on the move this week. Uh, mostly downside action there, but no signals in the bonds. Foreign names, um, a little bit weaker here. The RSX is uh, was uh, was strong today, uh, up more than six percent. But it does have an RPS to the downside on uh, on some pretty good volume. The EWZ uh, was fairly strong today, but again pulling off the highs, so that one has a downside RPS. So so we actually have weakness here, even though there is uh, is strength present uh, to the naked eye. And finally, finally, here's a look at the specials. Uh, we don't have any volume bumps except for the, the TVT. Uh, that one's to the upside. That could be an interesting trade beginning of next week. If we do continue to the upside in the equity markets, we could definitely see the uh, see the bonds come off some more. There's plenty of room there before we run into any real real levels. The DUG also trading some decent volume, but not a volume bump to the upside. That one is uh, one and three quarters percent below the day's open. TNA two and a half percent above the day's open. Uh, we do have a couple of signals here. We've got a downside RPS. In the DIG, that one's on OK volume. We've got uh, a contra candle in the URE, but that one's on light volume. And we also have a contra candle on the UYG that's uh, very, very light volume. All right, folks, here's a look at the uh, individual um, individual ETFs, especially the sector ETFs. You can see that we've uh, basically got a bunch of fresh price flips to the upside. See all these uh, these one day up here on the um, on the startup so that's going to be important here so to erase all those nines that were in place we do have a lot of nines that got locked in to the downside as we discussed on the last report so no surprise that we did turn up here and start to bounce uh, the one thing that's still um, potentially coming into play is going to be this XLE 13 bars up on the uh, on the standard seeker exhaustion and we're 12 bars up on in the um, in the comer we also got a 13 in place here in the XLP we're only 12 days up here in the uh, in the KRE, so we could definitely uh, definitely print that uh, this coming week. So just a couple things to think of. All right, folks, we'll have a great week. Enjoy your long holiday, and uh, we'll see you next week. This has been Rich for TradeSite.